Hi there everybody, my name's Tom, I'm one of the chefs here at River Cottage Headquarters and today I'm going to be talking you all through how to make a delightful cider glazed hot smoked ham hock, which for me is a great centrepiece for that Boxing Day buffet. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take this which is a raw pork hock and we're going to brine this. So we're going to make a 15% brine um, using cold water and salt. So in here I've got my cold water and I'm going to add some salt needs to be a 15% brine. Any less than that, it won't cure properly. Any more than that, you'll find it'll be quite salty. So we need to make sure that all this salt is nicely dissolved. So we're gonna add a few peppercorns. We're gonna add a couple of dry chilies, some coriander seeds, some pink peppercorns, a few cloves. Go easy on the cloves because they're quite strong in flavor. A couple of star anise, some bay leaf, some fresh sage, give the sage a little twist just before it goes in. And a little bit of fresh thyme. So with the thyme we're just going to give that a quick rub to try and um, bring out some of those nice oily flavours. I want a bit of a little bit of orange zest in here as well, just to try and bring in that Christmassy aroma. So we're going to take just the zest of the orange, and we're going to push that down on a fine grater. And then we're going to place the hock into the brine, and then that's going to go in the fridge as you can see, the meat's taken on slightly like a, it's like gone a little bit translucent and the skin has gone very, very white. This is an indication that the ham is brined and ready to be smoked. So here we have a hot smoker. The principles of hot smoking is to suspend some soaked oak chips above a naked flame and then suspend what we would like to smoke above those chips. We need to get some smoking chips which have been soaked in a little bit of water and we're going to place them inside the hot smoker. If you don't soak them, then the chips will burn out too quickly. Then I'm going to pivot the tray above the chips, followed by the hock, and then lastly, on goes the lid. I'm now going to go and place this over a naked flame until we start to see some smoke billowing. I'm going to turn the flame down to a low setting and we're going to smoke it for about 40 minutes. So as you can see, the ham hock's taken on a really nice smoky colour and it smells great as well. So we're going to poach this ham hock and we're going to poach it in very similar ingredients as to what we brined it in to try and continue that um, nice Christmassy flavour. So we'll start with the spices. So we're going to go black peppercorns, we're going to go one dry chilli this time, about a teaspoon of coriander seeds, a teaspoon of pink peppercorns, half a teaspoon of whole cloves, a couple pieces of star anise, and then the herbs again. So we're going to go a little bit of sage, some bay leaf, and quite a lot of fresh thyme. Don't be shy with the fresh thyme. Then we can pop the ham hock in there, followed by a few vegetables. So we're going to half a head of garlic, straight down the middle. Don't worry about the skin of the garlic, it's all good. And then we're going to pop in a couple of onions, nice and chunky with this veg, we don't want it to disintegrate too much. We're going to keep a nice chocolate carrot. And I'd normally use celery, but we've got some amazing celeriac tops coming from our celeriacs in the garden at the moment. And then finally we're going to pop in a head of fennel. Just going to chop that quite roughly. And because it's Christmas, we're going to add an orange. We're going to cut that straight down the middle and just pop it in as it is. And now we're going to cover this with water, bring it up to the boil onto a high heat, drop the heat down to a low simmer. We're going to simmer that for three to four hours. What we're looking for when the hop's cooked is that the meat is just starting to fall off the bone. You don't want the meat to be completely falling off the bone because we've yet to roast the ham hock. We want to make a nice sticky glaze to go on this ham hock when it's roasting in the oven. So for that, I'm going to use River Cottage cider. And then we're going to follow that with some honey. We're going to add a bit more orange now, but we're going to turn the zest off this orange. 
and a couple of star anise, a few cloves, pink peppercorns, coriander seeds, black peppercorns, and one single dried chili. We're going to pop it onto the heat and we're going to reduce it down about, by about three quarters. Here's one I prepared earlier. We don't want to have a lot to burn in the oven. So what we're going to do is going to make a trivet. And what that's going to do is it's going to suspend the ham, the ham off the tray so that any burning that happens with the glaze at the bottom doesn't actually affect the ham itself. So for that, you're just going to need a touch of onion and a few pieces of carrot. If you like, you could add a couple of herbs. There's nothing wrong with adding extra flavour. The hammock is now cooked, ready to be roasted and glazed in the oven. So we need to be really careful when taking it out, because it will be a little bit fragile. See how nice and tender the meat now is. So take a nice sharp knife and just carefully just go over the ham hock. Nothing too neat. Just score this nicely. That's going to allow some of that fat to render out. And we're going to pop the ham hock on top of the trivet. Just stud the skin with a few cloves. This is also going to bring a touch of extra flavour to the finished product. So now we're going to take our glaze and we're going to add a really small amount. We want to make sure you hold a little bit back, just so we can add some more during the roasting. This is now going to go into the oven at 180 degrees. Every 10 to 15 minutes, we're going to come back and add a bit more glaze on it. We're going to keep doing that for about an hour until we get a nice sticky roast ham. Okay, so the ham hock has been in the oven for an hour. I've been basting it every 10 minutes just to make sure it get that, gets that nice glaze. As you can see, it's taken a little transformation. It's, oh, everything's just started to look a little bit more roasted rather than just a nice poached ham hock. So I'm going to just remove these extra spices and then transfer this to a board to serve it on. And then on the side, I'm going to serve a little bit of that glaze just so people could just pour a little bit onto the meat itself. So I'm just going to use some of these natural roasting juices from the the pan. So there you have it, hot smoked cider glaze ham hock. If you just pull this apart at the table with forks, really see that the meat's just melting away from the bone, and then we can just finish the inside with a little bit more of that glaze. Look at that.